Here's a farm tractor that brings back the nostalgia days of the 40s and 50s. Quiet, efficient power. But listen to the 8N of the 90s. This one now has a 100 horsepower flathead V8. It looks just like a restored 8N, but there are several modifications. Owner Ron Stoffer explains. Uh, the tractor is a 52 8N4 tractor. And uh, uh, what it requires in the engine is a engine that has a side distributor is one way to tell if you were in a junkyard looking for an engine that would fit. It needs to have the side distributor and also it needs to have the back of the block here cut off with a removable bell housing. An adapter kit is drilled and tapped so the bolt pattern of the engine matches the bell housing. A steel frame runs from the plate and wraps around the front axle. It's four inches longer than the original ones and that enables you to mount your ball socket for your uh, radius rods going up the front axle and then rather than lengthen those and fasten them back here where they originally did and bending them, you can, you can shorten them and that makes that real simple to put that on that way. And you also notice that this one here has a foot accelerator on it. Uh, the two or three that we have built up, we have built them both ways, one with a governor. The governor gets pretty complicated to try to mount it up underneath there and uh, get a belt to drive it and everything. But if you were going to use it to farm with and put lots of hours on it that way, you would want to mount a governor. Now this particular tractor, the manifolds on it on the engine was uh, bad and we couldn't find any manifolds so we just came up with the idea of using uh, some header pipes uh, which we, we bent and made ourselves. <clears throat> if a person was going to farm with it or use it under heavy loads you wouldn't want this because this is, this is pretty noisy and it's, it's set up for just show and it does, it does attract a lot of attention having that on there. On this tractor here we used a, a six owner funk radiator. A person could use a car radiator, like a 49 or 50 car, and widen the hood. A lot of them was done that way. They widened the hood and made it set a little bit lower. And then we built up this dash right here. Now, anybody could do that uh, by uh, using metal or we do sell the dashes also. The original Funk conversions that was that was put out by Funk had a die cast piece here that, that raised the hood up a little bit. But uh, we put a V8 emblem off of, it, off of the truck onto it and then we also used two temperature gauges just, just for look. We got one temperature gauge for each head. And uh, a lot of the guys tell me that raced these engines that was real uh, uh, a good idea because they could tell if they had a problem with one side of the engine or not, if it wasn't performing right. The, uh, the oil filter, this is the original oil filter that uh, was used on a flathead engine. Real easy to get to the dipstick. Uh, but another thing that's a good idea if you're going to do one of these conversions is to find you a step-up transmission, which gives you another four speeds and steps the speeds up probably about 30 or 40 percent. and that. It really makes it uh, a lot usable, more usable tractor because you've got plenty of power for the, uh, the higher gear. Now on the radiator, uh, a person could just go to the radiator shop with your original radiator and tell your radiator man that you needed a radiator that was the same width but have him make it taller and thicker and have him put in the uh, two outlets at the bottom. And he needs to keep the outlets at the bottom as high as possible so there is clearance underneath there for the axle when the axle uh, rocks going through washouts and, and, and stuff like that. This conversion sounds great and even does some work too. Contact Ron Stoffer for more information on the V8 conversion kits.